So this is my 2021 Specialized Adult. I have it for almost a year now and put on 3,200 miles on it. Love the bike so far. It's comfortable, it's lightweight, and it's fast enough. Until recently, I don't really like it so much now because now I cannot ride it. And it's out of commission for a week now. I'm waiting for a part to come in. So one of the problem is the resting issues on the top bearing and the bottom bearing. Sorry, I don't have the picture to show you now because I already took the bearings out, cleaned them, and it packed with grease. And I have done it two times already the past year. Um, one of the problem is sweating, right? So I sweat a lot, I do a lot of climbing, and so my body leans forward, the face leans forward, and the, the sweat will drip down onto the top tube here, and the sweat will travel down. And see here this spacer here? This spacer is not fresh with the stem. And the sweat will zip through this top spacer here and, and the sweat will go inside of the spacer and drip, continue to drip down to the top bearing here. And it will continue to travel down to the bottom bearing. And after a roughly around 1,500 miles, I began to hear rattling noise, creaky noise inside these bearings. And the, when I took out the top cap here, it moved the stem and took out these two bearings. To my surprise, these two bearings were extremely rusted. So I have to clean them with uh, rubbing alcohol and it packed them with grease. Okay, it's not a problem. Every 1,500 miles, I have to take the bearings out, clean and it pack the, with grease. Not a problem, right? <clears throat> but the second time I did it, at around 3,100 miles, I stripped this screw. This is a four millimeter screw, okay? I even using a torque wrench to torque it properly. I never over tighten this, just uh, tighten them enough so that way I can still move the wheels, right? So this is the, the torque wrench I use to tighten up the top screw to around three or four nanometer or until you can feel it's tight enough so you, you could still move the, uh, the, the wheel. And these two bottom uh, both here, tighten them to using the top wrench, a uh, five newton meter, okay? Uh, this bottom screw here is very really sturdy. It's very well, really well built. You can never strip this bow. But this four millimeter screw is very really shallow, right? You know, you, right now, it's been stripped. I, it just keep on rotating. I cannot even tighten it anymore. So anyway, uh, so now I need to use a special tool to take out this screw, okay? So I bought a uh, special drill bit from Home Depot. I will need to drill, the, drill out this uh, screw and then flip it to the other side and then unscrew it to take out the, uh, uh, the stripped uh, screw. Now for comparison, this is a 2015 Specialized Robert. And you can see the top screw is a five millimeter, very sturdy uh, bolt. And I have taken this bolt out in and out many times and have never stripped this bolt and still original bolt. Because I need to take out uh, the bearings here to be packed with grease, right? And also this uh, spacer here is one single spa unit spacer, you, even though you see the groups here, but it's only one single unit. Now look underneath here. There's another tiny spacer underneath is fresh with the, uh, the stem. So when the sweat comes down from this tube, it will go outside of the spacer and continue out dripping outside, away from uh, going inside the bearing. So on this bike, even after thousands of miles, these two bearings will never rust it. Have no problem with this bike at all. Love this bike and still rides very well, very sturdy. Now back to the adults. In comparison, there are so many spaces on this one, four, four spaces, one, two, three, four. And the problem is the top one. The top one is not even a, a square with the stand. So two design flaws on this one. The spacer allows the sweat to go inside to the dripping down to the bearings. And then using this soft, shallow, four millimeter head bow is another problem. I recommend if you take out one time, and the second time you put it back on, you need to, uh, I recommend you to replace it with a, uh, a new head bow. So, yeah, disappointed. I cannot ride this by now. I'm waiting for the part to come in. A lot of work. Need to drill it out. 
Um, so with that said, will I buy this bike again? Probably not, even though it's a nice bike, but I don't want to do this type of maintenance. I'm a little bit disappointed. So whoever designed this part of the bike probably have never done bike maintenance long enough to understand the difficulties of uh, uh, these issues. You know, so. so that spiritual drooper didn't work very well. Since the top of the screw is very really shallow, it has no grip to grip onto the screw to uh, pull out the screw. So now my backup plan is to use this uh, 1 eighth of an inch drill bit. That's 3.1 millimeter, uh, slightly smaller than the 4 millimeter. Uh, so I'm going to drill out the whole drill way down there to take out this, uh, this long screw. Lots of metal shavings. Well, I have no luck in taking out this aluminum bolt here. Now I've been completely rounded the, uh, the head here. Uh, since the bolt is made of soft aluminum, this reverse drill bit, it's, uh, yeah, it's not effective in taking out these uh, aluminum bolt here. So now it's a lot of work now. So I need to uh, <coughs> completely drill out the, the head of the bow here. And then possibly I need to change the, uh, the st steer tube inside here. So yeah, it's a lot of work. So this type of tube doesn't work anymore. I'm going to completely take out the, the head of the bow here now. Now with the top of the head bow completely drilled it out. It's kind of lifted out like that here. So now I, I actually moved now the whole um, uh, steel head assembly. So it looks like I need to order the new steel head assembly. So, okay, so that's now that's the this bow comes out here and into the steel head over here. Instead of waiting for the specialized part to come in, that's ordered from the dealer. So I just went to a uh, local buy shop and got this generic plug. It's called the expansion plug for the top tube or known as steer tube as well. So this one comes with the top cap and also a four millimeter screw. Although I prefer a five millimeter, uh, but this one, it looks a very really strong screw. It's, just, it's not just made of pure aluminum. It's actually made of strong aluminum alloy, so, so it will not be easily stripped. I put the bottom part of the uh, expansion tube first, and then you will have to tighten up this to 5 Newton meter. And after that, we'll put the, uh, the spacer here. And here is the top screw. All right, and then we'll just tighten this. Uh, screw as well. So that's it. Uh, yeah, we're in back business again. It's been a lot of work and a lot of wait time.